Hello everyone and welcome to day 5 of 12 days of BioPython, where I will post one video per day related to bioinformatics topics using BioPython. I hope you will enjoy it and please make sure to subscribe if you still haven't to support this initiative. In today's video we are going to go through a brief analysis of COVID-19 genome using BioPython and the knowledge we learned from the previous videos. So let's get started! In this lesson, we are going to use BioPython knowledge from previous videos in order to fetch and analyze COVID-19 genome. We are going to use entress efetch function in order to get the genome sequence with ID MN908947, which is a sequence from one of the first patients. We will search nucleotide database and get it back in GenBank format in order to parse it easily with BioPython SeqIO module. We see that the result is only one sequence, so let's store it as COVID DNA variable for further analysis, and we can immediately check how, how long is the sequence, and we see that the genome of COVID-19 consists of 29,903 nucleotides. In addition to that, we can check the molecular weight and the GC content of this genome. The GC content is 37%. Higher GC content implies the more stable molecular due to G and C forming triple hydrogen bonds. Next thing that we can check is the distribution of nucleotides in the genome. So we will count separately in the amount of A's, T's, C's and G's and we can print them in the dictionary here. We see that uh, A nucleotides we ha have around 9,000, T we have around 10,000, C we have around 6,000, and G we have around 6,000 as well. We can also plot this uh, distribution as histogram using the matplotlib library. Here the visualization is out of the scope of this lesson. But here is how you can easily visualize the histogram and the distribution of nucleotide frequencies. And we can see that the frequency of nucleotide A is T is much higher than the frequency of the nucleotide C and G. Understanding the information stored in the genome is crucial to finding cures and vaccines. So let's check translate transcription and translation, so how, how mRNA looks like and how amino acid sequence looks like. And remember, BioPython has an inbuilt functionality transcribe and translate, so we can easily use them. So here we are gonna get mRNA from DNA using the tr transcribe, and we are gonna get amino acid sequences from mRNA using the translate functionality. Similarly, as for nucleotides, let's check the let's check the distribution of amino acids, and here we will use counter method to count all the letters that appeared in COVID AA string. Here are the most common ones printed. Next thing we will do, we will delete the uh, stop codon and again we will plot the histogram on, of amino acid to check which one had have the highest frequencies. Yeah. And we see that amino acid with the highest frequencies are leucine and serine. We can additionally check how many amino acids does the COVID-19 genome has by summing all the values from common amino variable. We know that our star is a stop codon, so we can use the Python split function to split the sequences by stop codon and keep the amino acids separated. So on our COVID AA string, we use the split star to give us back the splitted proteins. And in total, we have 409 proteins in the COVID-19 genome. It's worth to mention that not all amino acid sequences are proteins. Only the sequences with more than 20 amino acids code for functional proteins. So let's remove all of them with the length less than 20. And in the end, we are going to have 409 proteins with more than 20 amino acids in the COVID-19 genome. We can also use sorted functionality inbuilt with Python but, and sort by length all of our proteins and this will, this will sort them in ascending order. So the bigger one will be the last one. And we can grab it by accessing through indexing. We can see that the length of the longest protein in COVID-19 genome is 2701. 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna save this protein to a FASTA file for further analysis, which we will do in the next video. So the summary of findings of COVID-19 genome is that the sequence length is 29,903 base pairs. GC content is around 37%. It has high amount of leucine and serine. It has 409 proteins with more than 20 amino acids and the largest protein is of length of 2,701 amino acids. Thank you again for watching and see you tomorrow again for the next topic related to COVID-19. See you there. Bye bye.